Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy and welcome back to another episode of Roommates. So, let's jump right back in. We both start laughing at that. I gotta admit, Max is pretty cute when he laughs. Woo! Well, it's clear you're the smart one here. Obviously, that means you need more beer. We make our way through the line, which is pretty thin now as people are busy dancing. I still can't make out Isabella, but I've stopped really looking for her. So, what do you know about this music theory? Oh, not much really. I, or I read a couple of books about it here and there. I get the feeling you read, or you've read a lot of books. Um, yeah, I, or I've kind of read a lot of a, or a lot on a bunch of different things. So then, what are you here for? Like, I take it you're actually interested in classes, so which ones do you like? Oh, I'm kind of studying a lot of things right now. I have time uh, before I have to declare anything. I did kind of think it would be nice to be a librarian, you know? I really do like books a lot. <laughs> well, I suppose somebody's got to do it. Maybe you can come catch one of my shows from... Er, ah. My show's sometime when you're ready for some fun, you know? We're just standing by the keg now, so when I hand Max my empty cup, he pumps it full and hands it back to me. A big group of guys comes over and we move off a bit so we can keep talking. Hey, there's plenty of fun to be had in a library. Every book is a different journey, you know? Max is laughing at me. Maybe that was a little louder than I'd intended. I'm not really sure how many of these cups I've had at this point. If you say so, Anne. I guess I just prefer the real thing, yeah? There's a big world to see out there. You can't see the, or you can't see the forest if you've got your nose in, a, or in dead trees. You're really awful at metaphors, you know that? Hey, that crap was profound. Sure it was. Oh, shut up. You're pretty nice, Max. Yeah, I know. I'm a pretty cool guy. You're pretty cool yourself, you know. No, I'm not. That's why I really... Or that's why I really came out here, you know. I gotta bust out of my shell. I'm gonna bust out! Huh. <laughs> yeah, you show him, girl. We're gonna bust out. People are staring at us now, and I don't even care. Well, okay, maybe I care a little bit. I start blushing pretty bad. <laughs> you're cute when you blush. I take it back. You're not nice at all. Too late. You think I'm nice? You're wrong, but it's still too late. I playfully punch him in the arm and we laugh. Somebody turned on the or turned on the room spinner because it's been spinning around for the last couple of minutes. Max puts an arm over my shoulder as he finishes off his own cup of beer. Just as I'm thinking about asking for another cup, that's when I feel the bottom of my stomach drop out. What do you say we hit the dance floor? Think you're up for it? Um, actually, um, uh, excuse me. I get outside as quick as I can. I can't believe I just had to run away from him like that. I find the nearest bush and lean over it. Anne, where'd you go? Are you... Oh. <laughs> Anne, what are you doing out... Oh. Ooh. It looks like it's time to call it a night. <laughs> yep, that's our sign. Hey, where are you going, babe? Uh, sorry, Chad. Time for me to get going. I'll call you, okay? I pull my head out of the bush to see Max and Isabella grinning at me. There's a large boy in a football uniform looking at me. Kind of angry, kind of grossed out. Isabella gives me a or gives him a peck on the cheek before coming over and offering me a hand up. Max or comes over to my other side, and I stand up between the two. I lean on Max's shoulder as we start to walk away. It looks like you had some fun, hun. Thanks, Isabella. I think. Come on, let's get you in bed before you hurl again. Uh, I'll get you some, or we'll get some water in you. It's a little slow going, but the three of us make our way back to the or to Latin House without any further incident. Okay, new event. Ooh. It's definitely going to be a nice morning. The sun is up and the birds are singing. Looks like I'm not the only one awake either. 
Dominic, Sally, and even Rakesh are all here in jogging clothes doing stretches. Um, good morning. What's going on? Oh, hey! We were just about to head out. Looks like, or whoops, not looks like, we like to go jogging together on weekends. We usually hit the gardens. They're just lovely this time of the year. So, do you want to come with us? It's a great workout and the scenery is gorgeous. You should come along, Anne. Nothing like a hearty run to get your pulse up. And staying fit is important for a good student. It's true. Plus, it's a good way to learn learn your way around, at the very least, to the gardens. Oh, well, I'd really like to, but, um... Did those two hooligans get you drunk last night? Well, I wouldn't quite say that, but I'm not really at my best right now. Take it as a lesson, Anne. That's the kind of feeling you can or you could be used to waking up when you hang around those two. Oh, lay off, Dominic. It's fine to go party every once in a while. We understand, Anne. You can come or you yeah, you get some rest today, okay? Sally shoots me a beaming smile while Dominic uh, gives me a stern but concerned nod. Then the lot of them head outside. A moment later, Dominic and Sally run off. Rakesh starts doing something very much like running. Well, more like walking kind of quickly. Hopefully, he doesn't get left behind. One simple but nutritious breakfast later, and I'm actually feeling pretty energetic. I could hear the front door opening. May as well take a peek and see who that or who it is. Oh, we're back! Oh, welcome back! Looks like they had a good run. Dominic is in er, is in really good shape. He must run a lot to get so firm and fit looking. Not that Sally isn't great or er, isn't looking great too. I don't think Rakesh managed to keep up though. He looks like he barely ran at all. Was it or was it a fun jog? Uh, definitely. You should really come with us next time. It's quite invigorating. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I bet you'd like it a lot. Rakesh nods along with the other two, but doesn't really seem like he's listening, which means he probably isn't. Well, let me know when you go again and we'll see. Thanks, though. Um, for the offer, I mean. Of course, Rumi! It's definitely an outstanding offer. If you ever change your mind, I'll let you know when we run. Th thank you, I appreciate it. Okay... Oh gosh. So much stuff. I mean, you know, I think we're doing okay. Let's start. It's actually a really fun class. I'm glad I went today. People are always asking for the weirdest colors here. Oh, hi. I'm going to redo my room in Spartan Crimson if you... Or if you can find it for me. Okay, whatever. Taking care of business every day. Oh. Hi. New event. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this class routine. After a long day's work, uh, some food sounds great. I guess I could peek into the kitchen and try to see how it's going. The first thing I see in the kitchen is Sally, staring right at me. Oh, hey. I was just checking on dinner. Uh, no problem. Want to lend a hand? I could use some help with the tofu. I guess Sally's trying to cook vegan for us again. I'm not the greatest cook, but I could help, I guess. Especially since Sally's last meal came out so unappetizing. Let me put my stuff away and go wash up. I'll come down if I can, okay? Sounds good. Otherwise, I'll see you at dinner. Uh... You know what? Let's just skip it because I don't need to be with her right now. I feel a little bad that I didn't help Sally out with dinner. She seemed like she would have appreciated the company. Oh well, I suppose dinner can't be any worse than last time. So, hey, or oh hey Anne, grab a plate. They're over there. Sorry I never came back down. Don't worry about it. Max came by just after you left and helped out. Oh, I guess that worked out then. Yep. So grab a plate. Everyone else's or everyone else already grabbed theirs. Hmm. 
If Max helped out, I wonder if it's still vegan. I grabbed a plate and head or and head to the dining room with the rest of the gang. To my surprise, they're all digging in. Oh, hey. Oh, what, uh, what a pleasant surprise. Hey, everyone. I grab a seat and dig in. It's actually really good. Much better than last week. Well, how'd we do? Everyone's mouth is too full to respond, but we all give a big thumbs up. Great. See, Max? I told you they'd love it. Sally and Max grab their own plates, and we all enjoy a good meal. Okay. I'm glad I went today. I'm going to clean the hell out of this park today. This park won't know what hit it. Well, that certainly happened. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm done with today. I'm just going to sleep and start over in the morning. Uh-huh. Oh, hey. We've got a lot of stuff right now. I seriously never imagined that they kept so many notes here. Uh-huh. Okay, so I've got four rational skill now. This might be the answer for her midterms. Oh, no. Oh, hi. It's still a little weird wandering around this place like it's my own home. I've only been here a few weeks. I'm not used to the noises yet. For instance, I can hear a bunch of the others downstairs. I wonder what's going on here. Looks like Max, Rakesh, and Sally have set up in the common room. There's or There are also about four six-packs stacked on the table. Oh, no. Um, hey, guys. Oh, great! Hey, Anne! We were just about to start playing King's Cup. Come, or come join us! King's Cup? It is a card game with, uh, with drinking that Isabella showed us. Or maybe a drinking game with cards is a better term. You know the rules for... Or you know the rules for a bit alcohol in here, right? Pegging... Not pegging. Paging Dr. Buzzkill! <laughs> I don't know why I said pegging now. <laughs> oh gosh, you're needed if we're an immediate fun sec or yeah, fun funectomy. Anne, don't tell me they've lured you into this debauchery. Um. Oh, Dominic, you should join too. Does anybody listen? Or does nobody listen to me around here? We listen. We just think you are silly. Come on, Dominic, loosen up. Besides, if we can't do it here, then we're gonna have or then we're gonna be forced to find somewhere else to do it. We'll be out on campus drunk and wild talking about how our cruel RA threw us out of our own house. It might not look very good. Oh fine. Do whatever you like. Just don't come crying to me when the how or when the housing authority kicks you all out. I could hear Dominic's door slamming from down here. Come back and join us, Dominic! Poor Dominic. You said Isabella showed you this game. Isn't she here? I know, right? You'd think that since it was El Isabella's idea, she'd have stuck around. But apparently her latest crush called her and she had to go running. Crush? Oh, sorry, I meant boyfriend. Sally, holding up air quotes around boyfriend. I guess they haven't been together long. We'll see how this one, or how long this one lasts. I guess Isabella gets these crushes a lot. Oh, well, I'm sure she'll be fine. Okay, so it's just us then? Yes, just us three. Four if you want, or if you would join us. I don't know if I'm ready for this level of social drinking. Um, I have something to take care of real quick. Aw, don't go hide. No, no, just, if I'm not... Or if I'm not down, go ahead and start without me, okay? Don't, or don't dawdle, girly. <coughs> we got enough booze for everyone. I can't drink it all, or I can't drink it all by myself. <laughs> Just most of it. You know what? Let's play the event. I have to admit, I'm not sure if I'm up for this. But they all really seem to want me to come play with them. And I did want to make some college friends. All right, I might as well have some fun, right? When I get back down, I'm not—or I'm surprised to find Dominic is sitting there. He looks sort of upset. Dominic, I thought you weren't going to play. I mean, I thought you wanted to crack down on us. See, Sally, I shouldn't even be down here. 
Stay put, you grump. You've earned a little ribbing, I think. Just go with the flow already. Dominic grumbles at Sally, but gives me a grudging, er, a grudging shrug. I guess he's playing with us after all. Hey, I brought a little something for the wild card rounds. Oh, have you played this game before? I think I played it by another name. Really, I just wanted to get better booze. Okay, well, as you can see, Rakesh set everything up quite nicely for us. She gestures at the table where the game is set up. A large plastic cup sits in the middle of the table. Around it, er, around it in a circle are a bunch of cards. Oh yeah, I think this was called Circle of Death last time I played. It was a while ago, though. The rules are simple. We take turns pulling a card from the circle. Each card has a, spe er, has a special task or a meaning assigned to it. When it is drawn, we perform the task. The card's meanings are as followed. Ace... Er, a two, sorry, means that you may make someone at the table other than yourself drink. <laughs> no offense, Rakesh, but I came down here to play, not to listen to a King's Cup seminar. Just tell us the rules as we pull the card. <laughs> yeah, let's get to it! We all cheer, though I'm a little nervous about all of this. Dominic also seems a little reluctant. Who goes first? I think someone ha or I think someone has now volunteered. Really? Oh jeez. Um okay. I reach over to the table a little slowly. I guess it's now or never. No dawdling now. Come on. All right. A 10. Okay, quick. Think of a category. Then we all have to say something that fits that in that category. First one to miss has to drink. Okay, um liquors. Beer. Boo, you took the easiest one. Vodka. Wine. A rum. Um, scotch? Uh, ru no, that's... Everyone yells drink at the same time. Dominic makes some frustrated noises, but he knows when he's been busted. He takes a big hit of his beer. I'm next then, right? Okay, ace. The waterfall card. Everyone begins to drink. You can stop when the person to your left stops and not before. Dominic is to my left, so I'm watching him as we all start to drink. He catches my eye and gives us a quick wink, but soon he's watching Max to see when he can stop. Max, unfortunately, seems to be out to get us all drunk. It seems like forever before he stops. Jesus, Max. I thought you'd never stop. Can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Next up, Jack. Uh-oh. Make a rule. Everyone has to follow that rule. Every Jack adds another rule. <laughs> okay. Every time I touch my ear, everyone has to drink. As if to give us an example, he immediately touches his ear. We all take a quick drink. That's when the jerk touches his ear two more times. I think Max enjoys his power a bit too much. Next will be a six. Ladies. And six is for the girls. Bottoms up. The boys cheer as we take a long swig of beer from our cans. When we finish, Max makes it worse by touching his ear again. I'm glad I had a big lunch today. My turn. Hmm. So with this card, as soon as I show the four, uh, as soon as I show the four, everyone has to touch the floor. Last person to do it has to drink. Ready? As soon as she flips the card, five hands slap down onto the floor, Rakesh is being the slowest. I was distracted. Uh-huh. And no excuses now. The next few rounds passed by in a blur of cards and drinking. We made our way around the table three or four times. It, or at some point, Max broke out the vodka and started pouring it liberally into people's cups. I still managed to sneak by with little sips and not gulping too much. I think the others let it slide since I'm not really used to alcohol. At another point, Sally got a jack as well. Her rule, or her rule was that everyone had to say thank you for the bounty every time a card is drawn. Last person to say it had to drink. She was the victim of her own rule a couple of times. Between that and Max's rule ear, everyone was starting to get really drunk. 
Dominic pointed out that we were three kings in, though, which meant we only needed to find the last king for the game to be over. Ten. Never have I ever. Painted a live mackerel. It would be quite fun to... Um, I don't... Uh, I don't think anyone's done that, Rakesh. Ah, uh, yes. Never have I ever held a hand with a girl. Dominic and Max put their fingers down, so I guess they'd at least made it that far with the ladies. Seeing how drunk Max had managed to get us tonight, I decide that it's time for him to pay the piper. Never have I ever jumped off a stage. Come on, now you're just picking on me. Never have I ever skipped a class to go to band practice. Seriously, screw you guys! <laughs> Max is the most drink or drinkinished. My plan backfires when Max pulls on his ear three times in a row. That jerk. As Sally pulls her card, Rakesh is the last to say thank you and takes his drink. Ha! So the queen, this is the most special card in Latin house rules. As the queen, I get to ask you all questions. If you don't answer, you get a penalty. We all groan at the thought of answering Sally's question. Hmm, who to pick? I really hope she doesn't pick me. Which, of course, means she will immediately pick me. And question. Um, yes? Yes what? Yes, queen? <laughs> That's better. And... How many people have you kissed? What? what? Really? Like, everyone? D don't dodge the question. Answer it. But that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.